Okay, fantastic guys. In this video, we are going to have a look at where to find MLCAT and LDRAW, downloading the installer, some important things to do when we install the program, running MLCAT for the first time and sorting out L2 bars, and lastly adding scroll bars to the different viewports. Okay, so let's uh, answer the basic question first. Where do I get MLCAT and how do I install it? So the, the simple part is to go into your browser, type in LDRAW because it's part of the LDRAW directory and then you click on LDRAW. There you go, LDRAW. And when you get into the LDRAW.org webpage, you can scroll down a little bit, you'll see a lot of stuff there. But the one thing that we are interested in is LDRAW all-in-one installer and you click one there, LDRAW all-in-one installer. It will give you a lot of stories about LDRAW, whatever goes on. Um, the LDRAW download the following, that is the file that you can download. You can download it from here or from that one there. So I'll pick, I'll just go for that one. Let's see, you click on it. It will ask you to download and you say, okay, you'll see it's a 404 free Mac um, file which is pretty big and it's going to take some time to install but you can click on save file and install so click save file and at this moment i do have aldro already downloaded but i'll do it again just for the fun of it um, as you can see it's downloading so i'm going to stop this one i don't need it so aldro there's my aldro file this is the one that i'm going to install so uh you can double click on that thing let's let's do this and see if it wants to open up mm -hmm. um, i think i'd like to go into my downloads folder there is ldraw and i'm going to click on ldraw and then just wait for things to happen the ldraw old and yes we are going to set it up this is how we're going to set it up yes now guys please take note about one thing this will take a little bit of time. It's going to tell you that it wants to change things on your computer. Yes, it yes, please do that. Change things on my computer. No problem at all. So let's see. There we go. Set up the runtime files out of date or missing. So let's do a, a, a visual basic CC plus installer. There you go. Welcome to draw I'll draw on installer. And next, there we go. Uninstall previous versions. There should not be a previous version on this thing. So we go next. I agree to all the stuff. And next, are you going to install it to the LDRAW directory? That's fine. We'll, we'll do that. And this is very important, guys. This is where you can make a mistake and then you will miss it. You'll see these ones show the, the little marks. They show that it is uh, these ones that are going to be installed. But you need to select MLCAT. Um, some people like to select LeoCAD also, and you can use LG Delight for, for something and LPUP. These are the things that you need to install. You can also install the others. There's nothing stopping you from installing the whole package if you want. Um, but these are the things that I'm going to need. LDRAW is default installation. You have to do that. LDCAD is just another version, um, a little bit much like, well, sort of like MLCAT and then LeoCAT. You don't have to install them, but I'm going to install them just for the fun of it. But LPUB is really important for me as well as MLCAT and LDO, these things that I want. So if you're happy with that, you're going to click next and it's going to tell you it's going to install to that directory. It's fine. We can do that. And the space available, this is, the, oh, this is what it needs. As you can see, it's a pretty big installation, so it will take a little bit of time. I'm going to start the installation and then install shortcuts. I'm going to install shortcuts, make shortcuts available to all users. I'm the only user on my computer, so no problem. Now you need to make sure that you select these. Create desktop icons, use LD view and show model of the installation. I'm going to deselect that one. I don't really need that. But create desktop icons would be a good idea. Next. So it shows you all the options that you selected and you click next and there you go. Now guys, I'm going to stop the video here because it is going to take some time to install this thing. Um, normally about 15 to 20 minutes because of the number of files for all the uh, 
uh, uh, parts that there is and there is a massive amount of files in this thing that you need to install it's all small little files and it takes up a lot of time to install so I'm going to leave this a little bit and see what happens uh, with the installation and we'll come back after we are done with the installation thank you guys okay fantastic guys now that the program is installed you will notice that you've got a few more icons on your keyboard or on your desktop so what we are going to do is we're going to click on MLcat and give it a moment to open up All right. when the program up, open up for the first time it looks something like this okay so you will see that the the um the toolbars are all over the place and it's really not that great to look at at the moment so i would recommend that you move them around you just grab them uh, grab a toolbar and move it a little bit and you can place it wherever you want um, i'll show you what mine look like just after this the next thing you can do is you can right click on one of the the panes here and add your scroll bars to each one of these panes um, that's just something that i really like to do like okay that. fantastic guys this is how i set up my screen i like it this way it works better for me you will see that i placed my uh, toolbars in a rows these are different toolbars you'll see the cuts there and the there and there all of them are different toolbars i like um the uh, uh, generate the toolbars around there and this one's to generate a little bit of um, graphics like lines and triangles and stuff um, and then the sizes if you want to do the sizes fine um, but this toolbar is the one that I mostly use and that's why I put it at the bottom um, adding steps and adding rotation steps and um, when you want to view your steps itself you use this um, play button to view the steps um, and then your grid, fine grid, cool, um, medium grid, coarse grid and my colors. This is how I like to set my um, uh, program up and make it work for me. And this is where I'm going to stop with this video. It will, I hope it will make it easier for you to follow me if you try and do the same with yours. Maybe um, use the same type of setup that I'm doing, uh, which, make it, which will make it way easier for you to follow me. But if you don't want to, there's nothing forcing you to do it my way. Um, it's generally accepted that each one of us just work the way we like to work and um, everybody else can do what they want to do. So this is my way and I hope you enjoyed this video and how to set it up. In the next video, I'll, I'm going to have a look at um, my favorites and what I'm going to do with the favorites and how I use the favorites. Um, in my programs to make my work faster and easier so guys i'll be seeing you in the next video shortly bye